Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen? Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman. Josef Schweik, brewer. And Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Impossible? Why? Old Coot's been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I'd not heard. What a dump. Looks more like a beggar's hovel than a Margrave's townhouse. Dandelion made some interesting friends. Okay, so we know that Dandelion was involved in the heist in Dijkstra's vault. Now we know that Dijkstra wasn't responsible for Dandelion's disappearance, because if he was, he wouldn't have hired us... Footprints. ...to figure out who the hell broke into his vault. So at least we know that. But if Dijkstra wasn't the one who kidnapped him, then who the hell did? There's got to be other people involved here, because... Shit. Something must have happened. Dandelion's gone, and we need to find out. Silver cylinder. Bottom looks like what I found in the sewer. Hopefully we can find out something about the heist. How they managed to build the bomb, who was working, who Dandelion was working with. Anything that could potentially lead us. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be Dandelions. Or Ceres. And then that could potentially lead us to Dandelion's whereabouts. 1245 to 1254. Hmm. <laughs> Satisfying click. In the next room over, I think. This comes across as a strangely elaborate way to lock a door. I mean, this kind of thing is just insanely impractical. Who the hell would actually do all of this? Secret room. Probably where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the heist. Instructions on how to build a bomb. Signed by one Kalkstein. Seriously, it's like the Clue Mansion. Sugar. And lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium? Looks like they made the bomb here. Sugar. And lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium? Looks like they made the bomb here. Stain. Wyvern oil. Dandelion doesn't come across to me as someone smart enough to have really pulled all this stuff off. So there's got to be somebody else who's the brains of the operation. I mean, I don't think he could have made the bomb or anything. But, you know. There we go. Siri, Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has Dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. That was a letter from Dudu. Dudu is a Doppler, which is a kind of not human person who is capable of shape shifting. They're usually, I guess, it, they're capable of shape shifting into other sort of humanoid people. So, a human, an elf, they could see a person, maybe they need to touch them or something like that. They're capable of taking their form. And it's not just their form that they take, they also seem to take some kind of aspects of the personality and all that kind of stuff. So if a Doppler were to, say, copy Geralt, they'd sort of pick up some of his personality characteristics and all that kind of stuff. Kind of a good thing to have if you're going to plan a heist. Somebody can get, through, get you through security and all that kind of stuff and not attract as much suspicion. Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was, 
Have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stopped by to see if everything was alright. Thanks. You can breathe easy now. In the future, though, remember this. I can look after myself. Fine. You look after yourself, and I'll look after my interests. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So, I beg you, can we get to the point? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. Know you well enough to know what matters. Results. So I lied. Still say I can lead you to your treasure. Forgive me, Geralt, but after what you just pulled, I'd sooner believe a whore who proclaimed her undying love. Would you believe a sorceress who stands to gain if you get your coin back? Perhaps. I'd still prefer the whore, though. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menger has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menger spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit, ask where he's holding my gold for me. Mm -hmm. So we do your dirty work while you sit around twiddling your thumbs. Darling, when I'm able to make use of someone, I always do. It's convenient. And safe. Come on, admit you're scared of Menger. Of course I'm scared, bloody dangerous horse son. Triss would concur, I think. Not in those words. But I do agree with the statement overall. Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the Hunter's Barracks alive, with my treasure. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never! Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. I thought you'd correct him. Say that we... you know. Could have corrected him yourself. True. But it's not an easy thing to say, is it? But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks.
Yes, Geralt? See you kept the Rose of Remembrance I gave you in Flotsam. Seems so long ago. Probably because so much has changed. So, sentimental value. That why you kept it? Partly. Though, more as a warning. Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places. Where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. So long, Triss. So Dandelion was betrayed. And this Deekstra guy is a little bit too intelligent to really pull the wool over his eyes easily. We're gonna have to be a little bit more careful if we're gonna lie to him in the future. Well, we gotta go find this manga fellow and try to gain some information as to where the hell, where the hell uh, Dandelion is. Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Uh, Triss, sure you want to do this? Out here, with everyone watching. This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series 2. No such thing as too risky. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Wait. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. What about the treasure? If we learn anything, great. If not... Thought you need coin from Dijkstra to help the other mages. True, I do. Lots of ways to get gold, though. It's just not the most important thing now. Still got a bad feeling about this, but tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do. No matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to. All right? Hmm. All right. What do you want? Here for my reward. On the Alpha? For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? 
pull the odd fisherman from his boat, but the witches, they murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. You're done jesting, Merigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Yeah, you might know how to handle witches when they're brought to you in chains. What's that supposed to mean? That you're crap witch hunters if a witcher's gotta do your hunting for you. Listen here, mutant. Since we entered this town, we've made ashes of over a hundred mages, alchemists, dopplers, and other vermin. So don't you be telling us how to do our jobs, got it? Actually, think I could tell you a thing or two. It's not just Marigold. I've also tracked down Philippa Eilhart. I'll get you for this, you... Shut your gob, ginger whore! And you spit it out! Where's Eilhart? Don't talk to her that way. Why not? She's a whore, isn't she? Maybe. But for now, she's my whore, and I say you can't insult her. Funny you feel that way, but so be it. Now, Philippa, talk. Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by. With my friend Marigold. Fine, grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. Scram before I lose my patience. Beware, freak. Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, playing tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. Fine, take her. I'd rather she didn't interrupt my conversation. But hands off, don't touch her. Why? Feel sorry for the bitch. No, couldn't give a shit about her. But if I don't get what I want from Menga, I'll want to sell her to someone else. Don't want you damaging the goods. Keen nose for enterprise. You'd make a great madam. Don't you worry. Menga will give you your coin, and Merigold will get what she deserves. Do what you want. Come on, witch. Show you the wonders a pair of pliers can work. You'd be surprised. Have a drink, witcher. Sidarian. A 1261 vintage. Year of the Massacre of Sintra. Stop squirming. <laughs> this little piggy went home! No! No! Kurt, please see why Miss Merigold squeals so convincingly. Perhaps she needs something. Hot irons, for instance. 